And Corey, if six weeks ago we would have said your alma mater would be in this position right now, would you have believed it? Yes, I would have. I said at the beginning of the year, but many people didn't believe me. Here we go, senior to senior. Diakite had it knocked away, gets it back, and recovers for two. You see, there's been a focus from Tony Bennett. Now you see Virginia once again trying to get the basketball on the inside. The focus has been Diakite, and now Braxton Key with his opportunity is able to take advantage of it. And here's the first field goal attempt of the game. On the screen and roll, great catch by Enoch and the slam. Game earlier February 8th will be one that Thomas Walter Tenzai puts on his highlight reel. Seven three pointers made for him. And, and of course, Duke's got a huge game following us tonight against North Carolina here on ESPN. Enoch for three. Level of attention that is paid to Thomas Walter Tenzai, but that opens up opportunities for his teammates as Ryan McMahon <laughs> comes out firing. Sutton. Able to put it through. And you see the Cardinals with a veteran team. Williams, who actually missed the first four games of the season with a foot injury. <laughs> Penetration by the Hoos, getting into the paint and forcing the defense to step up and giving Mamadi a great look. War is on the board. Louisville's made its last three-point shot attempts. War from deep, make it four in a row. Again, special, no question about it. For Virginia, for Jordan War is a junior, but I believe he will be playing his last season for the Cards. So the Cards look fresh. Now Malik Williams, who sprained that ankle, first Florida State is not 100%, but outside of that, this is a fresh group. He's denied at the rim. Yeah, Stephen Enoch is already at the table, but you can see early that Malik Williams isn't 100% unable to recover. And when you don't recover to Jay Huff. Sam Williamson off the bounce. When you consider what this ACC has been this year, many people will say it hasn't been the best ACC, but yet... <laughs> when you've got teams like Louisville, Virginia, Florida State that you have to contend with on a nightly basis. Johnson. I'm so, no, I thought that was Johnson. That was Jordan Moore who made that pass. My man, Jordan, taking the page out of the point guard book. And the other conference tournament that will have its championship later on today. Braxton Key Connects is in the Ohio Valley Conference more of a facilitator for this team. We talked about he's the only double-figure scorer by average for Louisville. And with the attention paid to the oh! Has tied the ball game at 20. Wore a tough shot. Put back in by Enoch. Those plays are highlights for the group here at the JPJ. He and Diakite, the two seniors, on their final game. Here at JPJ, continuing to produce. Kihei Clark. Seven points, four assists for the sophomore point guard from Woodland Hills, California. Enoch, he's been a big answer. The fifth-year senior from Norwalk, Connecticut, already into double figure. The defensive possession by possession uh, situation is that determined by Kihei, or is that determined oh, by Coach? Oh, wait a minute. Ben. Kihei went to the post order. Including the South Carolina game that broke Virginia's 22-game non-conference winning streak here at the JPJ. Kihei Clark, under control for two more. Could have ignored you. I thought you were. Yeah, and then I'm like, I, wait a second. You know what? I shouldn't have asked a second time. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Diakite. Great footwork on the post. On the year leads the nation in fewest fouls committed per game. Well, and part of that is their basic fundamentals and how they play defensively. And Tony Bennett, unlike many coaches. Ryan McMahon back into the game for Louisville. Nice feed inside. The layup is good by David Johnson. Very patient, able to get it up on the rim. Goes after his own miss and has it. You talked about it in the first half, Corey. He has come so far since his first year. War with the size advantage over Key. Pull the tense eye. 
Gets rid of the defender and buries the three. Diakite avoids the double team and lays it in. Oh, and he went back down the floor. That might be a harder foul coming to Diakite next time. Well, I'm glad you translated for me because I wasn't sure what he was doing. You didn't know about the too small? I've never been on the other end of it. Oh, because you were a big guy. Exactly. I got it. I got it. It's going to be a problem. And right now, Chris Mack recognizing they need offense. Jordan War, who's had his hands full dealing with Mami Diakite, is able to create a bucket on his own. But Perry finds Wara for three. And a great find by Darius Perry. Got even deeper into that lead. With what you just said, Corey, does that make, in your mind, Florida State the favorite in Greensboro as Wara continues to produce? Huff is a great defender, but he lets Huff off the hook and not trying to drive past him and create something. McMahon, he made over up for Huff it. for three. He made up for it. I think that's in a great call by Fresh Kimmel. And how about the adjustment by Chris Mack to go with the three guards and get Darius Perry on the floor? Sutton at the four and five. And Virginia still with this big lineup trying to match. Perry for three. McMahon, tough shot for the lead, no, out of bounds, Virginia basketball. Key tried to find Diakite, who had cut off his route to the basket. And Louisville gets it back with a chance to regain the lead. Clark glances up at the clock, shot clock now down to 10. He puts it up. with a two-possession lead. Perry unable to answer, and the Wahoos have the basketball. The lob deflected, Enoch has it, and it's taken away by Jay Huff. Missed the front end. Louisville can't waste any more time. Williamson puts it up. Fight for the ball. Diakite's got it. And having won 10 of their last 11. And Diakite with a chance to close it out at the line. And again, keep in mind, we'll get you to Cameron Indoor Stadium for the Duke Carolina game just as soon as we're done here in Charlottesville. 97 career points. Enoch able to save it. Shot before the buzzer is good. It's a three. And a timeout called with three tenths of a second still remaining on the clock. They get it in, the horn sounds, and the regular season comes to an end on Senior Day.